What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the New Balance 992 in this wheat colorway. Today's video is brought to you by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell eTPU insoles which essentially is the same material used for Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below and you'll see they sell four different insole options. So depending on the type of insole density and cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of winter boots or for sneakers, you're gonna find there's something for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now and they truly do add a ton of comfort for my shoes. So if you guys wanna check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is my latest New Balance pickup and it's perfect for the winter season. These Wheat 992s really reminds me of a pair of Timberlands, but if you're not a fan of those clunky style boots, then this is the perfect alternative for you. So this pair retails for a price of 175 US dollars, but the price here in Canada has been all over the place. Some stores are selling them for 260, other stores are selling them for 285, and some other stores are even selling them for 320 Canadian. So I'm not exactly sure why there's so much confusion surrounding the price, but hopefully if you guys are planning to cop these in Canada, you can get them for a lower price point. So the colorway for this shoe is wheat and the style code is M992LX. And like I said, this really reminds me of a Timberland boot and it's a pretty simple construction all around. So diving into the details, the upper of the shoe is constructed entirely out of suede. This is a flat suede, but if you run your fingers across it, it does have a very nice softness to it to the touch. So instead of your traditional meshes and 3M overlays, as you can see here on the toe box, this is all constructed out of these suede panels in this wheat color. On the quarter panel and covering the eyelets, same thing here. And for the New Balance logo, this is also done in that same wheat color, but the end logo itself is done in this reflective 3M material. Running down the bottom of the shoe, the suede here is done in a slightly darker finish, which gives the upper of the shoe some sort of contrast. Moving further down towards the back, we have more of this lighter colored wheat suede, and on the lateral side, we have this 992 branding lasered into the suede. Covering the bottom of the back heel, we have more of this darker wheat colored suede, and we have this oval shaped cutout on the very back, with USA branding in the center. And at the very top, we have another overlay of this light colored wheat suede. For the laces, so these only come with one pair of laces and they're done in this tonal finish in the same wheat color. Underneath this, instead of your traditional mesh tongue, the tongue here is also entirely constructed out of suede. And at the very top, we have New Balance and 992 branding. So the inner liner of the shoe is entirely covered in this black colored textile. And then as for the insoles, the insoles are also lined in this black colored finish. This is your traditional foam line insole. And we have New Balance classic branding stamped on the heel in white. So the upper of the New Balance 992 sits atop this very chunky Absorb Foam midsole. The midsole itself is done in this cream colored finish and it also incorporates Absorb SBS technology which is a gel like cushioning system which helps with impact protection and shock absorption. So this is visible on the lateral side of the forefoot as well as on the lateral side of the back heel. And above this covering the back heel we have this black colored TPU heel clip which gives you added support and structure on the back end of the shoe. Turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here is constructed out of a combination of grey and black coloured rubber. And in the middle of the outsole we have New Balance and 992 branding. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these Wheat 992s. And for those wondering how these fit, to me these fit like most of my other 992s, so I personally prefer to go a half size down. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I wear between a 9.5 and, and 10 in my New Balance shoes. So for the 992 model, I prefer to go a half size down to a 9.5. And, and just to give you guys a point of comparison, I also wear a 9.5 and, and other New Balance silhouettes like the 998, the 990 V3, V4, V5, the 550, and the 993. And in comparison, I stick true to size or a size 10 in the 997, the 990 V2 because of its more narrow toe box, the 1500, the 1530, and the 2002R. Next up in terms of comfort, so I've said this before in many of my 992 reviews, but the 992 model is a very comfortable shoe in its own way. If you're expecting a sneaker that's very plush straight out of the box and has a very soft feel underfoot, then you might not necessarily like the feel of 992s, but instead it gives me much more support and because of that it's a shoe I can wear for many hours in a day without feeling pain and fatigue in the arches of my feet. Keep in mind though, the midsole is very chunky, so you will feel quite elevated off the ground, and it's also not really a lightweight feeling shoe on foot. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so this is a made in USA 992, and I gotta say the material quality was great. 
All the suede used on the shoe felt very premium and very soft to the touch. And while there wasn't necessarily a ton of variety in the material used, the materials they actually did utilize, I had absolutely no problems with at all. And also from a craftsmanship and build standpoint, I didn't notice any major flaws with my pair at all. So I thought this was a pretty solid pair from New Balance. So with all that out of the way, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Like I said from the beginning, this Wheat 992 is a perfect 992 for the winter season. I'm not personally huge on Timberland boots, but I've always liked the look of Wheat shoes during the winter time, and I think this is a great alternative if you want something a bit more comfortable to wear. Obviously, this is not going to be the best shoe to wear in hot climates, for example. I can't really see this being worn too much in like Florida or California, but I think in New York, Toronto, Chicago, this could be paired up really well with winter fits and it'll look really dope on feet. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about these Wheat 992s. What are your overall thoughts on this shoe? And is this a pair you guys would pick up or is this gonna be a pass for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram account at esco8. Check me out on Twitter at sean.go spelled out. And you can visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.